Hey YouTubers, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. This is episode 3 of Game Hunting in the Wild and I've got an amazing episode for you guys today. I'm going to show you how good of a deal I can really get when I use my two rules of thumb. Always ask what's out the back, always buy in bulk. Okay, let's go game hunting. So once again, it really pays to ask what's behind the counter because I fucking killed it. Got a whole box full of stuff, $30. So I'll show you once I get back to the gaming room. All right, guys, we're back up here in the gaming room. Once again, we bloody killed it. Uh, I asked if they had anything out the back. Brings me a box. I got all this stuff for $30. Insane deal. So let me just show what I got. Um, so we got the comp we got Deathly Hallows Part 1 Harry Potter for the Nintendo DS, which is great because I also got part two and now I'm I am only missing Philosopher's Stone I have every single Harry Potter game which you know they might not be the best but to me very nostalgic and as I mentioned in a previous video I really do enjoy playing them um, also in this big stack we got Neopets Puzzle Adventure for the DS not a bad one uh, not, not valuable or anything but you know good game uh, Crash of the Titans Made by Sierra, not Naughty Dog, so we all know it was a trash game. I'm telling you it was a trash game. Um, but, I mean, on the DS, whatever, I would probably just resell that. I do really want to sell a bunch of stuff to put money back into the collection to fund my Super Nintendo games. <laughs> that's, the, that's the basics of that one. Um, so we've got It's My Circus, Elephant Friend, uh, whatever, I'll sell that. I might put them with, like, a, a package on eBay with a... DS or something. Um, we got Nintendogs and Cats. I mean, thrown in. Look at the price on that. I can't believe they would sell this for so much. But I, notably, like, there is a Smash Brothers stage from this game. It's so funny. <laughs> Look at the dog. Oh my goodness. Kittens are now included. Ah, oh, yeah. Bucket of fun right there. Uh, also got this Tony Hawk American Skateland. Now, it doesn't have the original box. Okay, for the DS. Never even heard of that. I've, I love me Tony Hawk's, but never even heard or seen that one. We got The Sims 3 for PlayStation 3. Never really been a Sims fan, but I actually tested the PlayStation that I bought with this. It was really fun. Like, I loaded somebody else's save, and I just started stuffing around with their Sims. Uh, but, uh, that was a good time. Uh, I got Dragon Ball Revenge of King Piccolo. For the Nintendo Wii. Uh, this looks awesome. I haven't really seen it out in the wild much. You can use a GameCube controller? Okay. Alright. I know they just came out with the Dragon Ball Kakarot game. It's, uh... The Kakarot game's really good from what I hear. This looks really... This looks good. I love me some Budokai back in the day in Budokai 2. Um, but yeah, I haven't really been playing much Dragon Ball. 
Sega Superstars Tennis and Arcade. I'll resell that one. Uh, a couple of the arcade games on there are okay. That was a launch title for the 360. It's getting on a bit now. Uh, this Batman Game of the Year edition. It has the Harley Quinn Revenge, which I'd be... I've not played that. That would be very interesting. I played um, Arkham Asylum. That was a really good game where the Joker's the, the big baddie. But yeah, her DLC would be sweet. <clears throat> okay, we got also... This is all for $30. Like, insane, insane. Uh, just Fight Night Round 4. You know, sports games, whatever. It's good for uh, achievements on 360. Cars. Yep, same deal. Uh, Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. It's all just free gamer score. This is an exclusive Viva Pinata Party Animals. I've seen this so many times. Never played it. So, yeah, I don't know if it'd be any good or what. <clears throat> um, I got I got Tony Hawk's Underground. Now, to me, this was uh, when Tony Hawk's... It was like their last good game. No, American Wasteland was their last good game. This is when they started losing it a bit, but I mean, I I did enjoy this one. They, they kind of went in all directions. It just had like so many different things you could do. There was even one you could upload your own face, which at the time was, <laughs> was insane. Um, I got... Book of Spells, and also the motion controller that goes with it. So I'll pop that on eBay, hopefully get some money back. I mean, I should have my $30 just in like, I don't know, a couple of games. Maybe this, yeah, that'd be sweet. Um, okay, so just going along here, there was a random PSP, Into the Blue. I mean, I couldn't say no to Jessica Alba. Look at that. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got... Dawn of War, There's just random stuff in here, really, like, I don't know, wait, it was, might, it's just, like, multiple people, or what, I'm not sure, anyway, never heard of that, this one, whatever, I don't know, Awesome Nauts, Spartan Total Warrior, this looks awesome for the PlayStation 2, seen it around a lot, the graphics look alright for PS2, be keen to give that one a go, okay, so we've got, controversially, uh, I love this, this was the first one not made by Naughty Dog. It's Crash Bandicoot 4, The Wrath of Cortex. And I'm actually, I shit you not, I'm playing through this right now. I'm up to the last level. I can't stand the levels with this droid machine thing. They're trash. You get one tapped. It's just broken. I mean, if you have not an addition, you should then take two hits because it's clunky and it's just, the aiming's bad. But I tell you what, the platforming sections are so good. And there's even, like, one section where you have to run away from a tidal wave with her, uh, with Coco. Love that game. Can't praise it enough. <clears throat> so we got Ratchet and Clank 2. Amazing game. Um, I've already got it. It should fetch something on eBay. The Simpsons game. Now, I've played a few levels of this. It's very, it's very weird, but it is, like, there is a bit of a story... <clears throat> and you get to play as all the characters, so it's not too bad. Like, oh, the main Simpson characters, anyway. Uh, Madagascar. Uh, never played it. Seen the movie years ago. Uh, whatever. Uh, was also Ratatouille. Um, Ghost Recon Jungle Storm. Now, Tom Clancy, I remember he used to make good games, and then he didn't for a while. So maybe this is one of the good ones. I had... Socom, but that, yeah, that wasn't Tom Clancy, but I, I do remember when they came out with this uh, network play, and I had Socom, and I believe that was the first game I played that had it, and yeah, it re it really changed and paved the way. But then Xbox just came out with their um, online and basically blew everybody out of the water. Uh, cricket, <clears throat> not much to be said about cricket or cricket. Okay, but. Let me just rearrange this. We've got all of them. Just messy. Sorry, guys. All of them. There we go. Book of Spells. And also got myself PlayStation 3, the latest model. I need to actually see how many gigabyte it is. I did test, and it does work, as I said, with Sims 3. It works really bloody well. I might keep this for my collection if I don't 
resell. I do have one down there. So perhaps not, but I am looking for the one that's reverse compatible. That would be amazing. And also a controller chucked in a red one. You don't really see many red ones. So yeah, I'm just, I'm going to sell one of the PlayStations and the controller and all the games. And then we should hopefully have enough to do some really awesome game hunting next time. Okay, so just uh, just one thing I did get in the package as well, like in that box, was this. And I was like, over the moon, oh my god, I know this is like a $100 game on Xbox. Really hard to get. Was super excited because it has this extra path where you can play as Palpatine's apprentice. Where Luke and Vader never beat Palpatine. It's awesome. It's friggin' awesome. You get to fight Princess Leia, and she's a Jedi, and she has a yellow lightsaber. But anyway, all that aside, all my excitement aside, always double check your games. Lesson of the day. <laughs> I can't stress that one enough. I mean, big, stupid mistake right there. Um, yeah, and then just the last thing, <clears throat> I did buy a brand new game. Got me some Crash Bandicoot and the Nitro Kart set. Awesome bundle. <clears throat> the main reason I did it is because I want the achievements for all of them. Holy crap. I've got to just say real quick, they did an excellent job with the remakes. Because I'm very picky. I've got the originals on the PlayStation 1. And I honestly thought that Activision wouldn't be able to come through like Naughty Dog. But they really, really did. Alright guys, well, I'm glad to show the pickups I did get <coughs> from that that haul from the box, and it, as I said, it, it pays to ask. So, take care, I hope you like the content, and we will be back next episode with the two Super Nintendo games I promised, they've been held up in the post, and a lot more game finds to show you guys. So be good, and I'll see you next time. Take care.